Hi again everyone. I am going to be reading to you today from You and Your Gender Identity, A Guide to Discovery. I know it's reversed every time I show you it, but I'll show you it anyway. Uh, I'm going to be reading to you from the self-care checklist. So um, before I begin, this is something you might want to get out pen and paper or if you'd like to keep track of things in your phone or on your computer. Um, feel free to do so because I'm going to be reading to you quite a few ideas about what you need to do in terms of making sure you make self-care a priority as you go through this book. So let me read to you the introduction of it then we can talk a bit more about that. The self-care checklist. Self-discovery can be a difficult process so it is crucial to set aside time to take care of yourself as you work through it. Below, you'll find examples of what self-care can look like. You'll be given reminders throughout the guidebook as to when it would be a good idea to turn to your self-care checklist. Later on, we will look at how there are there may be items on your self-care checklist that you do to excess and thus are more harmful than helpful. For now, feel free to list anything that comes to mind. And so what I do is I say circle items on the list you already use for self-care and or that you'd be interested in trying and then you can use the blank lines to add more self-care ideas as you go along. So one reason I felt it was important to include this is that I wrote this book in part because I knew there were so many people out there who needed help trying to figure out their gender identity and they weren't able to access um, a therapist to help them through this process and so I wrote this with keeping in mind you know how can I best help somebody through a book but almost act like it is me counseling that person me helping to be there for that person and what I always like to check in with my clients about is self-care because um, this is not easy this is not easy work that you would be doing here and you do need to make sure that self-care is something you're prioritizing for some of you I'm sure many of you myself included this is not always easy to do and it could be something um, completely new even for some of you so I'm gonna read to you from this list and um, I'm just gonna read everything on this list and that way you can start coming up with ideas on your own as to what it is that you could do for self-care and um, like I said, when you read the book, it shows you that you have blank lines to write down what else you do for self-care. And then as I'm reading the book, I'm going to let you know at what parts, in what chapters, you should pause and make sure you do you plan ahead for your self-care. Uh, sometimes it's going to be at the beginning of an exercise. Sometimes it's going to be at the end of an exercise. Sometimes it's going to be both for some of the more intense exercises. So, okay, here's a list of things that I have on here. Listen to music sing in the car or the shower, karaoke, play an instrument, yoga, Pilates, walking, Tai Chi, stretching, weightlifting, running, martial arts, Zumba, cycling, hiking, dancing, meditation, lighting a candle or incense, cooking or baking for yourself, cooking or baking for others, watching a favorite TV show, watch an old favorite movie, watch a new movie, play a video game, journal, creative writing, browse the internet, social media, read fiction, read your favorite blogs, study a subject you love, paint your nails, take a bath or shower, shop, volunteer, spend time with your pets or other animals, pamper yourself, visit a favorite place, visit a favorite restaurant, visit a favorite coffee house, knit, sew, crochet, drink your favorite beverage, spend time in nature, pray, chant, garden, use aromatherapy, scrapbook, massage, reiki, spend time with a friend or several friends, painting, drawing, organizing things, taking a nap, eat something replenishing, go for a drive, photography, do puzzles or brain games, crafts, tarot cards, I Ching, watch or play sports, breathe deeply, make a music mix, write code, listen to comedy, recite affirmations, watch your favorite YouTube videos, cry, play, role-playing games, coloring, religious ceremony, cleaning your living space, bowling, spend time with children. 
um, I do list a few resources at the end that I will put in the notes for this video. Um, as I was reading those, I did think to myself, hmm, during the pandemic, some of those things you might not be able to do that you normally would do. I know for myself, I've been struggling with that a bit because I'm actually um, learning that I have a lot of extrovert energy and I enjoy doing things like going out to movies, going out to karaoke, going out to coffee shops and restaurants, and I've been unable to do that here lately. And so um, knowing that that'll be something I can do later, I've had to figure out more things that I can do that involve me staying at home, um, connecting, you know, still being able to connect with people, but doing it uh, from a safe distance and virtually. So it's interesting how this book, of course, when I wrote it, I didn't know there'd be a pandemic, um, but those are the kinds of things that you can keep in mind that you could always make a note that this is something you want to do once it's more safe to do so, or if you can find ways to do it in a safer way. This is a good opportunity to reflect on what are the different methods of self-care that you feel like you either need to do more often or you already do, or maybe you want to try something new. And like I mentioned um, in the introduction, there may be things that you do that it turns out you do them to excess and they end up being more harmful than helpful. So you might want to put those on a separate list knowing that there is some work to do on that and that'll be a future uh, chapter that I'll be reading from. So that's all I'm going to read from for today and I look forward to reading more to you. I've uh, enjoyed very much reading the comments that you've left and I'm so happy to know that so many of you have already gotten the book and have learned a lot from it and that some of you are going to be maybe following along. I just want to warn you I'm probably only going to post maybe once a week. Um, life is pretty wild right now and I've got a very full client schedule but I'm going to try my best to upload once a week indeed. Um, so thanks again and we'll talk again soon. Bye.